My name is Brooks and I'm an application engineer here at Keysight. Today we're going to be making phase noise measurements on the world's highest performance vector signal generator, the M9484C VXG, using three different Keysight phase noise analyzers, the UXR real-time oscilloscope, the N5511A phase noise test system, and the SSAX signal source analyzer. So before we get into the measurements, I'd like to describe why phase noise is such an important metric for signal generators. So number one is for digitally modulated signals, phase noise materially impacts the error vector magnitude or the EVM percentage that you read on your, on your receiver. Number two, when using a signal generator to simulate a local oscillator in a radar system, the phase noise of the signal generator materially impacts the sensitivity of the radar and its ability to resolve a target with a smaller radar cross section. And third, when a signal generator is being used to clock other electronic components, such as an analog to digital converter or a digital to analog converter, the effective number of bits of the converter or the dynamic range of the converter is directly impacted by the phase noise of the signal generator. So before we get to the test setup, I'd like to show you the sensitivity of our three phase noise analysis solutions. Here we have a sensitivity chart. The sensitivity of a phase noise analyzer is how low a phase noise that it can measure. As we can see, the red trace represents the SSAX, the purple trace represents the PNTS, and the yellow trace represents the UXR. All three of these systems have two channels that split the DUT signal into two and perform a cross-spectral averaging process that removes the instrument noise at the expense of time. This cross-correlation process, as it is also known, will improve the initial sensitivity seen here by 5 dB at every offset for every 10x increase in the correlation number. We can see the PNTS and the SSAX perform similarly depending on the offset frequency. The UXR has the advantage at many gigahertz offsets, which we will see during the actual measurements. This is the VXG vector signal generator. The reason it has such incredibly good phase noise is twofold. One is the proprietary reference system from Keysight Labs, and two, is we have an innovative upconversion scheme that translates phase noise from a lower center frequency up to a higher center frequency with minimal impact from the LOs and mixers. So as we can see, the VXG has two RF outputs, each up to 54 gigahertz. In this case, we have an eight gigahertz CW signal and a 54 gigahertz CW signal. The eight gigahertz CW is going into the SSAX signal source analyzer. This is the SSAX signal source analyzer. And one of the really nice things about the SSAX is it's an extremely high performance phase noise system while also being very easy to use. And the reason for that is if you look, we have a single RF input, but behind that single RF input is an RF power divider and two independent channels for cross correlation. And so there's a lot of complexity hidden from the user inside of the instrument. The reason that the system is so sensitive is because it shares that same reference technology with the VXG from KSI Labs, and so it's a highly sensitive phase noise test system while also being extremely easy to use. So this is the SSAX measuring the VXG at 8 gigahertz, and we can see this solid yellow trace here representing the measurement trace, and ideally it represents the VXG's actual phase noise. And below that, we can see this shaded area or this sort of translucent, transparent area. And that represents something called the correlation gain indicator. And what the correlation gain indicator shows us is the amount of improvement in initial sensitivity of the SSAX due to something called correlation gain. And what correlation gain is, is it's the amount of uncorrelated noise removed from all cross-correlating analyzers due to this cross-spectral averaging or cross-correlation process. And it's always a 5 dB reduction in the uncorrelated noise of the measurement system for every 10x increase in the correlation number. And this is true across all offsets. And so ideally what we'd like to see is we'd like to see at least 10 dB of margin between this solid yellow trace and the shaded area, just to ensure that we aren't measuring the SSAX's noise floor, but rather we're measuring the VXG's actual phase noise. The other output from the VXG is at 54 gigahertz, and it's going into the N5511A phase noise test system. 
The difference between the N5511A and the SSAX are the two channels in the N5511A are exposed to the user. And that allows us to put uh, different signal conditioning components like amplifiers, uh, isolators, attenuators after the power splitter and then use cross-correlation to get back to the SNR at the input of the power splitter. This allows extremely flexible phase noise measurements and allows the user to decide the signal conditioning levels uh, that show up at the input of the phase detectors. So here we can see the N5511A PNTS measuring the VXG at 54 gigahertz. And just like in the case of the SSAX, that solid yellow line is the measurement trace, and that sort of translucent, transparent area below it is the uncorrelated system noise or the initial system sensitivity. And the goal is to increase the margin between the two by processing more and more correlations. And you'll notice at the, at the bottom it is the correlation number per segment. And each segment does 4x more correlations in the same amount of time as the previous segment. So what that means is when we've done a few correlations at the one hertz offset, in that same amount of time, we've done millions of correlations out at 160 megahertz. The third phase noise analyzer we're gonna talk about today is the UXR real-time oscilloscope. And like the N5511A, it has two external channels behind an RF power splitter for cross-correlation. The nice thing about the UXR is it directly samples, digitizes, and demodulates the RF carrier up to 110 gigahertz. In this case, we, we have a 54 gigahertz CW coming from the VXG, and we're measuring offset frequencies to 15 gigahertz. The nice thing about that is for digital designers is oftentimes they'll have multi gigahertz clocks and they want to measure up to the second harmonic. And so, tens of gigahertz of offset frequency are needed where you can also separate AM and PM noise at the same time. And then they take the phase noise data and integrate it to come up with a jitter number. Now let's look at the eight and 54 gigahertz phase noise data that we just gathered so that we can see why the VXG is so special in terms of ultra low phase noise performance versus a traditional synthesizer. We can see here in the orange trace, the VXG phase noise at eight gigahertz. Normally, phase noise in a traditional signal gen generator works like an ideal multiplier and scales 20 times the logarithm of n, where n is the factor from one lower center frequency to a higher center frequency, as we can see here in the purple trace. In the case of the VXG, we use a proprietary upconversion scheme to translate the phase noise from a lower center frequency up to a higher center frequency with minimal impact from the LON mixer as we can see in the actual phase noise performance of the VXG in the red trace. We notice that close in, the reference dominates the phase noise, and so the red and purple trace are on top of each other until about 10 kilohertz offset, where the actual measured phase noise performance of the VXG is significantly better than an ideal multiplier or traditional synthesizer. We've just seen that the world's highest performance vector signal generator, the VXG, has ultra low phase noise performance due in part to its proprietary reference system and its innovative upconversion scheme that significantly outperforms traditional synthesizers. We measure this phase noise using three of our phase noise analyzers so that you can better determine in which scenario you would use each of our instruments. If you'd like to learn more about how we made these measurements, check the links below or contact Keysight.